It's a little bit different than always, but um, this is how I got started on the mower thing. I'm over here at Alfred Black Murray's house, um, just because mine is, I don't know, it's boring over there. So, um, yeah, he got a little really junky desktop thing we're sitting it on with a little light up here. So, um, you good, buddy? Yeah, you judge him. I got things standing there. Huh? Well, yeah, it's junk. Hey. Anyway, it's got a hole right here because the thing spilled on it and ate through it. There's the old dog over there. Max. Um. Okay, buddy. Uh, anyway, real quick. Uh, this is a, uh, he has early, early, early 70s, late 60s. I said that wrong, late 60s, early 70s. Uh, steam engine, it's a Walesco. Um, just stationary engine. I've gone ahead and I've oiled the piston up and everything. That's how these work, is they work off oil for compression. Um. And we're gonna do a little cold start on her. So I've got the boiler full. It is a steam engine, like I said. So I got the fire right here. I do not use the standard tablets. I use uh two hour ethanol. I think it's called Sterno. I don't know, it's like the knockoff version. Um got some oil here. I use the original I got it at Ace. So that's the little thing here I made up to get the, all the water out of the tank so it doesn't rust. And this is more of the expensive one. I'm, I'll probably make a separate video whenever I write, run this one. This will probably be another day. But this is the uh, Mammoth. Um, just they call it the steam car. I can't remember what the exact name is. It's definitely a... Uh, I think this is a Russian setup or a German setup or whatever. I can't think of the real one. <laughs> whatever has the right steering wheel. Steering wheel on the right. Russian. Russian, okay. Um, and I also have the steering piece for it. It just hooks right in there, and it sits right there. So when it's out running around, you can steer the car. The entire front end is the boiler. You got the motor all down through here. So that would spin. You see right there, it's taking off. Just me rolling it. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, light this. It's going to take a couple minutes to fire up. So um, I can just, I guess, also sit here and warm up. It takes probably about two or three minutes to. Uh, to uh, get the water boiling. Once it's boiling, though, it's it's on the road. It's good. Dang, but you ate all my, my cookies. Whew. Dang. My friend likes to steal cookies from my house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You hear it popping away in there. Hopefully, we don't catch this thing on fire. If we do, it'll just be hilarious. I forgot this stuff stinks too. <laughs> oh well. That's his problem. He's over there playing Xbox, so. The one Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, he's playing GTA 5, yeah. Y'all play Grand Theft Auto on Xbox, I mean. Yeah. So I don't think people play Xbox. <sighs> people anyway. Play yeah, people work on lawnmowers, but I don't play on the Xbox. <laughs> but. I do both. Maybe. I do too. I don't. I play once every two months, though, because it's so boring. I think it's retarded, so. Anyway, as my point of view, all you guys that like Xbox are probably going to hate me for that, but I can't say I got one. I got a 1S. The Minecraft edition. Okay, it's going to take a while. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention. It's a little sight glass. Whenever that water up there starts to bubble, that means you're good to go. Um, it will build pressure up. Should I air freshener, bro? <laughs> what does it do, like every half hour it sprays? Stinks. Yeah, how does it know that though, buddy? It's called sniff. <laughs> you dumb as ever, bro. Also drink me a nice can of Coke. A cola. I have to mention Coca-Cola or else you know I'm plagiarizing, so I gotta mention it. Alright then, it's going to take a couple minutes. <clears throat> I know this is running a little bit, so. Oh my gosh. Let's back up a little bit. There we go.
I'm trying to hold this camera as still as I can, guys, but not the easiest thing. No bubbles yet. He's a popping away. You hear? It? Okay. <clears throat> you can kind of hear that noise, hopefully. That is the start of the boil. Very soon it will start to boil, and then we can go ahead and go. See the little bubbles up on top? And the little tiny bubbles. Those will slowly get to bigger bubbles. I can see. I know you guys can see my camera's reflection. It's kind of, kind of cool. Kind of not. Cause it's Making a mess of my video. There we go. <clears throat> Here, steaming away. Just about there. Almost. Bubbles getting bigger, more aggressive. And there's the ripple effect that you're looking for right there. It'll get bigger and bigger as it goes. There we go. Now she's boiling away. Let's make sure she's got a little bit of steam built up before I kick her on. Yeah, it's... There we go. So she's on. Let her sit for just a second. <clears throat> Spin around. Um, I did warn him that it's probably going to put oil on his walls. Yeah, let me go ahead and have him hold the camera so I can fire her up. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on. Uh, Alright. Cold start. And there's a wall already on the, on the walls. <clears throat> Y'all can see that. Yeah, Let's bleed the lines out real quick. Watch out, buddy. There we go. <laughs> Just to make a mess of your room. There we go. Hey, little cold start, guys. <clears throat> He's a chicken in a clavern and a spit in a sweater. She's picking up speed now. She goes. That's probably to go a little bit faster, and that's about it. <clears throat> right around there is where it's going to pop out.
we go. The whistle's kind of a pain. Forgot about that. There we go. I got it. <laughs> the wood just spoon in there. <laughs> you can see the whistle works. <laughs> Not the quietest thing in the world. Well, I started to warm a little. Stopped up my finger right there. <clears throat> you can restart it. Water still in the half tank, so. But I'm guessing the fire is just about out. No, nah, just the small water. Gonna put a couple drops of oil water because I think it's running low on oil.
There we go. Would pull the piston out, but it doesn't sound like a good idea right now. So those things ran for over 10 minutes now, which is pretty good. Um, you know, for being as old as it is, I think a brand new one would run for somewhere around 20 minutes. <clears throat> but this one's got a lot of age on it, the, you know, pistons wore out. So. It does pretty good, though. I think I paid 50 bucks for this one. And they're like 200 new. You can see it's not a very well balanced motor. <clears throat> it's running for about 12 minutes now. Water level still fine. Fire is actually decent, but obviously you can see it's 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 done. It's it he it, it had its run, so. It's just about gone now. Now obviously this thing is very tiny. It's sitting on top of a s small, small drawer <laughs> table, <laughs> nightstand. I want to keep burning his table as much as I can. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll put my hand up against it. Actually, I'll, 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 that Coke can, that Coke can describes how big this thing is. The Coke can is actually a bit taller than the boiler. I'm not at a good angle. But it's taller. And it's about the same size actually. Yeah, they're close. Yeah, it's actually taller than the boiler. And it's a lot bigger than the boiler. Hope she died. She stopped. Yeah, she's got a little bit left in her. Here's a big light here's a big lighter size comparison. Here's my hand, which is looks gigantic compared to this. Here, here's a better one. Here's a screwdriver. Yeah. That's how small it is. So with that being said. Um, open up the whistle, let the steam die out, there we go. Um, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Um, it's kind of a long one, but it's okay. Um, here's a little run on a uh, mini steam engine. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like down below.